Morning, guys. I went to bed last night yesterday. I went to match your bed. Um, I just took this old thinking top out on yesterday because um, I booked a table to go out for food, right? It's Warren's birthday today. And I've just been down my mum's, sort her out, and she doesn't really fancy going. She said, oh, you go out, you go out. So I've come back and I said to Warren, I'm done fancy going. And he looked at me as if to say, well, I can't be asked to go either. So I just said to him, oh, should we save the money then and not go? And he's like, yeah, let's not go. So we're not going now, which am I happy about? Yeah, I am. Because then I haven't got to think, oh, I'm going to use this many calories. I know it sounds stupid. This many calories on that, or how many calories would that be? Because I'm on, you know, I'm on a roll here. Um, so, I'm looking through this book I picked up in Aldi a few months back. <coughs> and eat like champions. So, I'm going to cook something out of this book. I don't know what yet, but I'm going to cook something out of this book for our dinner. Tonight, so the kids, <coughs> the kids can have it as well. Um, when I booked the table, I booked it for the pottery down in Nangaru, and when I booked it, it said you will get a confirmation email shortly confirming your table. It is now ten to ten in the morning. I have not had a confirmation email. Oh, uh, so there's nothing on there I can cancel it with. Have I even got the table? I think that's really bad service. So Warren's like, ah, oh, he said, just don't turn up. But I think, oh, I can't do that. So they open at 11.30. So I'll just ring them and say, um, I'm ringing up to cancel, but I don't even know if I've got this table. And if they then say, oh, yeah, it's booked in, I'll say, well, I never got an email. But I'll cancel that anyway, and we're just going to have this i will need to pop out to the shop because um we've got no margarine and i'm gonna whip up a cake for warren for his birthday i'm not doing a fancy birthday cake warren's not really a cake man he's um not fussed on having not fussed on big birthday cakes you yeah. no but he does like a bit of cake so i'm just gonna whip up either a chocolate sponge he likes chocolate cake not the biggest fan he likes chocolate cake. Or oh, I'm just going to do like a uh, Victoria sponge. Um, so the kids have got something they can sing happy birthday to him, you know. Um, I think I've got some candles somewhere, but I don't think I can fit 58 candles on there. Um, yeah, if you haven't worked it out, Warren's eight years older than me. <laughs> Dexter said to me last night, it was quite funny, he went... Does that mean when you were 10, Daddy was 18? And I said, yeah. <laughs> when you think of it like that, it's a bit like, ooh. But, um, yeah. Anyway, I haven't had breakfast. I've got no margarine. Warren used a glass of margarine last night. Thanks. So, can't have toast because... Well, I can. I took a block of butter out to soften because I couldn't be bothered to go to the shop yet. So if anybody wanted toast, or the, the younger ones are in school, could have used butter. But then I'm like trying to plan my day out and I'm thinking, well, I don't want um, to use calories on toast and butter. I'd rather have a piece of the cake I'm going to make and I'd rather have a nice dinner tonight. So it's like, hmm... Yeah, so we'll see. Lunchtime, I haven't got a clue what I'm going to do. I might just do um, bacon and egg. Bacon, egg and beans or something like that. It'll be like a brunch. Maybe I'll have one slice of toast or even half a slice. Uh, but yeah, it's a bit of a quick breakfast, I think. And then whatever I decide to do out of here for our dinner tonight, I shall let you know. But yes, yeah, it's going to be a bit of a boy day. Uh, 
And then tomorrow, I said I'd take my mum out shopping because she needs bananas and stuff. And then we want to be back in work. So I shall catch you later for lunch. So I'm nipping out on my own. Up to Aldi and Home Bargain. Bargains. I'm not buying a lot. I'm just getting... Um, couple of bits the chosen meal out of that book tonight is spaghetti carbonara or carbonara however you want to say it i think it's a bit of a cheats one it's not um i don't know if it's the real mccoy or not it's got like pancetta in it i've actually got bacon lardons in the um fridge which is same thing as pancetta near enough isn't it? so I'm not buying pancetta I'm just going to use that um, got to get parmesan need to get single cream it's got single cream in it I also need some whipping cream to put inside Warren's cake could put buttercream in it I suppose but I'll put proper cream in as it's his birthday. So, yeah, I told my mum I'd take her out tomorrow. She's feeling a bit out of sorts. So, she's going to stay in today. But she will enjoy a bit of cake later. She likes a bit of cake, old floss. Right, I'm off to Aldi. I'm off to Home Bargains because I said I'd do garlic bread with um, the carbonara and rather than buying garlic bread, I'm going to use some rolls and that I got in the house. Oh God, I have to use them up. So I'm going to go there, I'm going to come back, I'm going to whip up a sponge. I'm just going to do it in my mixer. I'm not bothering to do it fancy. Good old traditional, classic Victoria sponge. And no, my luck, it'll probably turn out flat. But, you know, the best Victoria sponges I've ever had were from my very good friend Sharon, who I used to work with. That's where we met. And she retired and I left um, near enough around the same time and we keep in touch we go out for food and stuff right but when it was someone's birthday or that I'd make a cake and she would also make a cake and especially when it was my birthday she would make me a cake and I have never seen the height on a bit I don't know what she used to do to them whether she had magic eggs or something in there but the thickness of her sponges like one was like that where mine's probably like a they were massive absolutely stonking and i know she watches me with her husband nigel so sharon them bloody victoria sponges were lush don't get them anymore no i'm not working there but yeah they were good you can't beat sharon's victoria sponge Right, I'm gonna go and get the bits I need. I've also got to get my mum a paper. Oh, and do you know what? I've come the wrong frigging way. I've got parcel to post. I wanted to go to the post office first. God damn it. It's because I put the parcel in the bag and I couldn't see it on the chair. Right, I'm gonna do my shopping first. Then I'll get my mother's paper and onto the post office. bananas and some satsumas so she can uh, have some fruit she's very healthy in that way she has a porridge every morning and she likes a banana every day but she's run out and she likes she eats satsumas by the dozen so yeah I'll catch up with you later Warren's requested cheese on toast for lunch me cheese on toast that's calories on bread calories on um 
milk because I do put milk on my cheese and toast. If you don't do it, you will never um, regret it. Grated cheese, drop of milk, mix it in, put it on, it's banging. Um, and then cheese on top. So that would be quite calorific for me. So I'm not having cheese on toast. However, I think I might pick up some fresh mint if I remember, because I've not written that on my list, because I've got a bit of watermelon left and I've got feta in the fridge. So I'll buy some more feta to replace that, because I like to have feta in the fridge and be able to have watermelon with feta and mint, because it's flipping last show. I think I'll probably have that for my lunch. And I'll use half of the feta it's over 500 calories if you um, use the whole block and then I will use the other half tonight possibly and crumble it over everybody's um, carbonara just to finish it off that's the way you're using it otherwise it just goes to waste because it goes sour so quick and I know you can preserve it in like salty water but can I really be asked to do that? I don't know I'm feeling kind of lazy. So is Warren, he's having a lazy day. We don't really go all out on birthdays. We do with the kids, but when it's mine and Warren's birthday, we just, we don't bother. Don't even buy each other cards or that really. So. Look on then. Absolute. Oh, oh, I'll tell you what, people, they just don't look where they're going, do they? Honestly. Honestly, honestly. Oh. Right, guys, I'm going to go and park and I'll catch up with you in a bit. So guys, I'm back in the car. I didn't go to Home Bargains because I couldn't park close enough. I haven't got my crutch on me. And I thought, I'm sitting here now and Home Bargains is right over there. It's like, what is it? About three shops away. But they're massive shops. And the thought of walking over there with my bad knees but yeah, Farm Foods is just there. And I only really wanted garlic gold in Home Bargains, other than just, I would have had a browse when I was there. Um, so I went to Farm Foods and, oh, I got garlic gold in there. I'll show you what I picked up because I'm gonna be cracking on with making Warren's cake when I get in. So I'll start with Aldi because I just popped into there. So I picked up some milk because all the kids seem to want milk yesterday. Milk, I think it's 46 calories you get milk for, for 100 ml. I bought bananas. I got two bunches. And a more yellow one, even though it's still greenish, because mum can eat that today then. These ones are a bit, I don't know, they're a bit too green. It tastes a bit woody. So I've got a bunch of four for me, a bunch of five, actually. I give my mum a bunch of four and we'll have a bunch of five. But she's still got five bananas because she'll have that one as well. Bananas are a zero count food when you're doing grow. I also picked up this. They had these in, her, in Farm Foods, right? They had masses of food flies, um, fruit flies, all in the box and that, and they were like soft to touch, so I was like, no thanks. So I got another watermelon, because when I have watermelon at lunchtime, that will be the last of my watermelon. I like to have a spare, you know, but I might not have enough for what I want, so I've got the next one ready to go. So I got a watermelon, now I'm gonna be rolling around the car. Candy floss grapes, which I'm going to eat now because I'm feeling peckish. I find the candy floss grapes, right? The first couple you eat, it's like, oh my God, 
This really tastes like candy floss. And then after about 10, they just taste like grapes. Hmm. They're zero count. I had to ask a nice gentleman to reach out for me because it was a bit too high on the shelf. Um, but he was very obliging and he was laughing with his girlfriend. I couldn't reach it. <laughs> but not in a horrible way. This is 40 calories for 10 grams. I need that for tonight. I also got some mozzarella. That is 87 calories for 30 grams. If you want to save on calories, use this instead of cheddar. It's quite a lot in different. Got one a packet of steak um, fajita, steak fajita, tortilla chips, 194 calories. Is that for a bag? Yeah, per bag. Of course, I bought a watermelon. I had to get better, didn't I? This is 79 calories for 30 grams. I got two nets of lazy peelers or satsumas. Easy peelers, they're zero count. There's a net for me and a net for my mother. So there's two nets of those. I bought some mature cheese because I'm making one cheese on toast crunch. And he said, make sure I get some cheese that's got a bit of taste in it. Well, mature cheese is, is the one then. 124 calories for 30 grams. I know they're obviously going to be different tastes, but if you can compare it, 124 calories for 30 grams of that, and then it's only costing you 87 calories for the same amount of that one. So if you're tight on calories, sum up which cheese you're going to use. I got a packet of ham. That is zero count, provided you cut any fat off it. This one hasn't really got any on it. So I got that. I got a bag of lettuce for the guinea pigs and the tortoise. However, that is zero count as well. Not that they're on diets, you know. Single cream, we need that for the carbonara. carbonara. 58 calories for two tablespoons. And I think the recipe took, said three tablespoons. I do like to do a lazy dinner now and again when I'm busy. So I picked up those to put in the cupboard to have on standby, just to make a quick lasagna. The creamy white sauce is 114 for a quarter of a jar, but when I make lasagna, I always make it into six, so it's not too bad. And this one is 44 calories for a quarter of the jar. And again, split between six, it's not bad. I got two tins of chopped tomatoes, which is zero count. And I picked up two tins of these. Someone had dumped them and I just noticed them. There was like a tray of them just dumped in a random place. And I thought, well, I'll get some of them. Because sometimes if I got fish out the freezer or something, I could, you know, do with some peas. Didn't get them. Talking of peas. Did I need peas in this recipe tonight? Because I forgot to get them if I did. No, I don't think I did. It was a different recipe I was looking at. This is 112 calories for half the can. I'm not the biggest fan of mushy peas, but if we're having them, I'll have a spoonful, you know. Got one a packet of pork scratching, so it's his birthday after all. Uh, 210 calories for the bag. What else is in this bag? Parsley, which is zero count, that is for tonight. Fresh mint, which I can smell sitting here. Smells lovely. You know what? I absolutely love mint. And if I'm feeling desperate and I'm in the house, I'll just, I'll just eat at least, pretend I'm a tortoise, you know? It's, it's nice. I had to buy double cream for the cake because they didn't have any whipping cream and I wasn't prepared to walk to another shop. It's not that many more calories, 
I'll just make sure I can accommodate a little slice, you know. But it is 140 for two tablespoons. Did I tell you what it was in a single cream? I think I did. If not, it's 58. That's quite a difference, isn't it? I know it's obviously single and double, so double the... But yeah, 140 and then 58 for the same amounts. But you can't whip this stuff. It will not whip. However much you try and whip it, it will never whip. Did you know that? What else have we got in here? Oh, I can't believe it's not. No, it's not. This is the, not can't believe. This is the Audi version of, um, oh, what is it? The Clover Light. And it's four to six calories for 10 grams. Spaghetti, I just got cheap spaghetti. Although that's the only one they had on offer. Not on offer, on offer to buy. There was nothing else. It was that or nothing. Then I got these. Kids have been asking me to get these to put in their school bags so they can make a drink rather than just having water. They are no added sugar, so you don't have to count them on um, on grow. But if you wanted to, you wouldn't have to anyway, because it says per 250 ml serving is zero calories, and it's saying per 100 ml is zero calories. So they are totally nothing like. I'll just get this all back in the bag, and I'll show you what I picked up in farm foods. Right, <clears throat> farm foods. It does look like I've just had a crisp fest going on in farm food, but they were really cheap, so I picked them up while I was there. Ham and English mustard, I can't think of a worse flavour. But my lot will like them. And they are... God, everything is a foreign language, yeah? I need glasses for this. Hundred grams, four hundred and ninety-six. I picked up two of these. They were like two for a pound. Cheese and ham toasty, and they are two hundred ninety-three for the packet. I'd rather a piece of cake than a bag of crisps. I also got these, 420 for 50 grams, that's a lot that, isn't it? I didn't look at the calories um, when I picked all these crisps up because it's not me eating them. Although I do like a bag of these. T-bone steak, 113, I think they're Warren's favourites over Yes, there is more crisps coming, you know. I've got these with me in mind because they're 76 calories a bag. Extra cheesy corn puffs, so they're like, a bit like a what's it. And they were 79 pence for six packets. So, I'm gonna get them more crisps. Six packets in here, again, they were 79p. Cheese and onion flavor corn puffs, just rings. And yeah, what were they? Calorie wise, they are. Doesn't tell you the calories on these ones. Yeah, it does. 92. A bag. I got these, which I thought were really good, and they're handy because you know you can get naan breads, obviously, and you can get mini naan breads, but there's still quite a few calories. Um, obviously the bigger ones are quite a lot. Well, they had these, they are coriander, garlic and coriander non bites, and they're 28 calories per bite. They're just really small. That is the size of one against my hand. So they're not tiny, but if you just wanted a taster, you know, and a couple of bits, instead of having a whole naan, I got them. I got some garlic gold. I got some garlic gold. I got some garlic gold. No, that's it. I got three garlic golds because this stuff I cannot live without 
because it's flipping gold, man. It's gold. It revives any old roll into the most divine garlic bread. I don't buy garlic bread unless I'm feeling super lazy. Or, you know, just can't be asked one night, I'll go and buy it. But it's honest to God. And it's not the calories that is in butter, it's less. So you can have quite a lot for your calories. Um, we love this stuff. I've near enough, 99% of the time, always got this in my fridge. However, I did notice a few of the things had gone. Um, Mackenzie had left one out and left it on my air fryer. I used the air fryer and it melted it. So I put it back in the fridge and hoped that it would just re-harden, but it stayed melted, so I've had to bin it. Um, but yeah, this stuff is flipping amazing. And it is, it's 500, oh, freaking glasses on. It's 503 calories for 100 grams. But you only need like 10 grams of it or something, or 20 at the most if you want it thick, on a bit of garlic bread. So, to me, it is it is gold, you know? I love it. So I've got three of them. They're a pound each. I'm not sure if they're 99p in home bargains or whether they are a pound, but for 3p, I'm not walking over there. Barbecue sauce. That looks very old-fashioned to me. So I don't know if it's old stock. It looks like something you would have bought in the 60s. Do you know what I mean? The labelling on it. It's not a modern one, but obviously it's in date, so when's it in date till May next year? So they must be making it, but it just looks like a really old one, doesn't it? But yeah, barbecue sauce. Kids love barbecue sauce. So I got that. I got these because last time I was in um, Home Bargains, I got these. There's nothing like making yourself a wrap putting your filling in and not being able to roll it up because you've jammed too much filling in it and it all spills out and it won't stay together and you get the drift. But they've got extra, extra large racks. They're massive. Look at the size of these boots. What are they? They are 240 calories for one rack. Against the size of my head. They're bigger than my head. They're massive, aren't they? So yeah, I don't mind spending 240 calories on a wrap. You can make everything you put in it zero, apart from a little bit of mayo or something. So I got those. More often than not, Mackenzie will open the wraps and use them, and then we never get to use them because he's had them all. But there's 18 in here. So what I think I'll do one night, or when I see they've been opened, I'm gonna make like enchiladas. You know where you put, make like a chilli and put it in, wrap them up and then put them in a dish and line them up and top them with tomato sauce and cheese and that. I quite fancy that tonight now I'm talking about it, but one's that wants carbonara, carbonara. Yeah, so them. They weren't very it cheap, mines. They were, I think they were like 2 99 but you got 18 there, so not that bad. Picked up a butter and farm foods. It wasn't any cheaper than anywhere else. It was 179 um, but yeah, I took a butter out, which is softening, which is good, because I can use that then for Warren's, um, kick, which I better get a move on, because I've got that post office and everything yet. And then I picked up these with my eldest in mind. However, I've got three, so it would only be fair that the kids get one each. Um, it's basically nacho. You can have three for three pounds. Obviously, they work out a quid each basically a dip with some nachos bit of a gimmick but i thought they could have them it shows there you can put the dip into the lid i obviously don't want to open it but you could do it cheaper if you bought tortilla chips and a, made a dip or something i know but this one is a salsa sauce that one is guacamole and then that one is cheese and that's everything I bought. So I'm gonna go and post my parcel. I'll get this back. Go and get my mum a paper. And then I'm going home to make cheese on toast for my mum, Mackenzie and Warren. 
I'm gonna have watermelon feta, I'll show you that when it's done. And then I'm gonna get that cake on the go. Yeah, so I'll catch up with you in a bit, guys. I'm gonna enjoy my grapes on the way home. Just come out of the post office, guys. I'm eating something. I picked up these. They are mixed mint drops. They're pretty lovely. I took them all out and counted. There was 40 in there. Calories like that on the back. So, I did, on the calculator, 100 grams, 300, 403, divided that by 100 and times it by five, which is they worked out five grams each and they work out at 20 point something calories, so 20 calories for one. And I've had four, 80 calories. See how quick you can end up using calories? There is so much um, roadworks going on here. It's a nightmare. Can't even get out of here. Try again. Some people, honestly. So yeah, 80 calories and four mints. Right, I'm on my last mission. Stopping at the little shop to get um, my mother a paper. And that is that. That's a wrap. So, I shall see. How much have you got to spend on a debit card before it don't work right? It's a minimum spend, isn't there? Let's see if I've got enough cash to get paper. I don't really do cash. Right. I will see you for lunch next. Which is going to be watermelon feta and so guys this is my lunch coming in at 270 calories it's still on the scales where i weighed my feta 97 uh no it wasn't it was 96 oh was it 96 97 grams 270 um calories so i'm gonna eat this and then i'm gonna get on and make warren a cake so yeah, that is it. So I've only got 650 calories left now and a good chunk of Victoria sponge. You're looking at about 500 calories and dinner's got cream in it and stuff. So will I forfeit my garlic bread for a piece of cake or what? I will see what I can fit in. But yeah, I will forfeit something to stay in my calories. Um. I think I will forfeit my garlic bread rather than a piece of cake. What would you forfeit? But yeah, that is lunch. So I'm going to go and eat that now and then get on and make a sponge. So guys, cakes are out of the oven, just cooling. So they're just going to be a really basic Victoria sponge. I just need a way to get through this entire fog situation. That is Laura's birthday cake I have made him. If I cut it into eight, right, it'll be 491 a piece. I don't want to use that many calories today. So I'm going to have half a piece. So I'll just cut it into eight and then one of them I'll just cut in half and then that'll be mine. Yeah, just a simple Victoria sponge. This is my dinner. It works out at 379 calories for it all. I have got a smaller portion than I could have had, so it is going to be less than that. But yeah, that is dinner. Guys, I had the dinner, it was very nice. I've just cut the piece of cake. Got a bit of cream on my finger. Um, I haven't even bothered getting a plate and I was contemplating whether to bother even having it. That's one of the bits cut in half. 246 calories for that tiny bit and it is tiny. It's probably two finger widths, if that. 
I'm going to have it. I'm left with 25 calories to spare today because tea was higher probably than, uh, well, not necessarily higher, but I've used, obviously used my calories today. Um, I am going to double check that I have counted everything right I've had today. Um, in case I've left something on, like double cake or something. But yeah, I'm going to eat that. If my calories are wrong, I'll put on screen what I've got left. But otherwise, it's 25. And I'll see you tomorrow. So, this is one's birthday cake. And, ooh. See you tomorrow. <laughs>